Hey everybody, welcome to Franny's Hair. I'm coming to you today from my living room. It's snowing out and I felt like sitting in front of the fire. I built a fire. I am not good at fires. This is probably going to peter out any minute, but I gave it a try for the ambiance. Anyway, I thought it'd be fun to come to you from a different location. I was kind of just getting tired of standing in front of my normal white shelves. Today, I'm going to be showcasing for you some Ellen Villa open box wigs, so stay tuned. Okay, so many of you have said that you like the open box videos that I've been doing. So I'm going to continue to do them. Today I'm going to showcase Ellen Villa open box wigs for you. And if you don't know what an open box wig is, it's a wig that either I've reviewed or somebody has bought and returned and it's been through an inspection process. Now these are the exact wigs that are for sale right now at Franny'sHair.com, so you can head over and check it out. These specific wigs, there's just one of them in this color at this price. The beauty of the open box wigs is that you get a great deal on a wig if you find one that you like. And we can keep our return policy that we're so proud of. We know how difficult it is to shop for a wig online. And we want to take the stress out of that process for you. So we do have a really great return policy. If you don't like a wig, you can return it. There are no restocking fees, no fees of any kind. The only cost to you is to ship it back to us. We just ask that you check out the return policy so that you know how to keep the wig in excellent condition should you want to return it. So today I'm going to feature for you some Ellen Villa open box wigs. And Ellen Villa is known for being low density, low amounts of permatease. And I know so many of you have said that you're looking for low density density wigs because they're more natural looking and they can be more comfortable. So I will tell you throughout this video if I feel the wig is low density and I'll tell you about permatease. This will not be a full review of these wigs. I basically want to show you the wig that's for sale so you can see the condition it's in because open box sales are final sales. I'll show you the cap and I'll show you the color as well. Speaking of color, if you haven't seen our new feature on our website, head over there. We have color charts by brand and by hue. And so you can go into a color chart, find a color you like. If you click on that color, it will bring up all the wigs that are for sale in that color. So I think that's a really great feature and hopefully that will help you to find more wigs that you like. Ellen Villa, unfortunately, has not been added to the system yet. The Ellen Villa color system is more of a recipe type system. So you may have different wigs with the same color name, but they don't look exactly the same color. So what they do is they will take the three colors, let's say, that make up a color, and they may use it in different amounts on different parts of the wig. So it's hard to just have one swatch per color name, but we're working on it and I'm confident that we're going to be able to do it. So stay tuned for that. All right, so let's start with this wig here. This is called Piemont Super. Piemont Super, very lightweight. I believe she weighs 2.4 ounces. She has a mono top. She has a lace front. So let me show you the lace front there done really well. And a mono top means that if I part her anywhere, you can have a part. She's not heat friendly, so you can't really use a heat tool. If you're experienced, you can use steam sometimes. I hate to suggest that. The, the manufacturer does not suggest that, but I know that people do that. Um, honestly, I don't think she needs much styling. She's a cute little bob, and I'm going to spin for you. And of course, I would probably wear her behind my ears. This one is in the color Bernstein Multi Shaded. So you can see that there. It's a combination of browns and auburns. And sometimes they put a light honey in it. I can't tell if I can see that or not here. Let me just show you what she looks like. I think she's a really cute style. She's partially hand tied. And let me just tell you her measurements. First, let me tell you my measurements. <laughs> I always do this. My circumference is 21 and a half inches from forehead to chin. I'm eight and a half inches. All of my measurements will be in the description below. 
And the one thing I want to say about Ellen Villa is that their average size is called petite to average. And they do have other sizes. They have some wigs in large, some in child size. They might even have an ultra petite. I can't remember. But they do have some different sizes in some of their wigs, not in all of them. But I find that the petite average does run, like most petites can fit into it, and it does run up to an average. And depending on the cap construction, you may have more or less stretch. So if it's a wefted cap, it's going to have more stretch. If it has features like a mono top, it'll have less stretch because those pieces don't stretch. So I'll be telling you how these fit me and my 21 and a half inch circumference. Right now, this is fitting me perfectly, and we'll take a look at where the adjusters are. Okay, so the front is 4.5 inches. So if you wanted a bang, you'd have to snip there a little, probably, unless you have a much bigger forehead than I do. Uh, the crown is 8.75 inches. The nape, 2.25 inches. The sides, 6.5 inches. And she weighs just 2.4 ounces, so nice and light. Don't feel any permatease at all and she is low density so let me just take this off and show you the cat you can let me know if you like sitting in a different spot <laughs> I was just in the mood for a change today okay so here you go you have your lace front here it's temple to temple it's pretty deep too you can see and a mono top so you can part anywhere in there. And this is partially hand tied. This is a beautiful cap. See that there? And when it's hand tied like this in these spots, you have no wefting. So should the wind blow, you won't have wefts showing. And also the way the hair fibers are sewn in, they fall more naturally. When fibers are sewn in a weft, we don't have strips of hair on our head. So it doesn't fall quite as naturally as if it's hand sewn. You do have back here some closed wefting, so it's not 100% hand tied, but this is a really beautiful cap. You have the velvety ear tabs with the metal stays, the extended velvety nape, the Velcro adjusters, which are adjusted in somewhat there. So you, it could definitely go larger. I would say this would definitely fit an average head, and you can go smaller. So petite to average, I would say that's accurate. All right, and that, I want to show you the color here so you can see how beautiful that is. Really pretty. That's Piedmont Super. And I forgot to say, the tag is not attached to this one. It is in the box, so you do get the tag with it in the box. And you can just look at the fibers here. Everything's in really great condition. Okay, Meet No Bless in Bahama Bay is shaded, and she still has her tag on, as you can see. And I'm going to have to say, I'm happily surprised by this piece. When I reviewed No Bless before, I had it in, I want to say maybe it was metallic, blonde, rooted, or something like that. And when I looked at the top part, the knotting was so evident and the hair was so sparse that I did not like the way it looked. But that is not the case with this one. Now, the one thing I will say is this says it has a mini lace front. To me, the lace front on this makes no sense. I don't feel like I need the lace front with the way this falls, but I'm just going to show it to you so you see. It's kind of like right here, and it's just a lace front that hangs off the front. I honestly don't know the purpose of that lace front. Like I said, I don't think you need it with this piece, and this is a beautiful piece. It has a monofilament top. I... I'll show you again. I know I pulled to the other side. Hopefully you can see that there. And it's partially hand tied again like the Piedmont Super is. So it's a really beautiful cap. Okay, let me tell you the measurements for this piece. The front is 9.25 inches. That seems about right since I'm eight and a half here to here. The crown, 13 and a half inches. The nape, 10 and a half inches. The sides nine and a half inches, and she weighs 4.1 ounces, which is not a lot for all this hair. Again, feels low density. I don't feel any permatease in this piece, 
and the cap is fitting me very nicely. And this color, as I said, is Bahama Beige Shaded. It's definitely a warm color. You can see that there. Very pretty. With some lighter blondes in there. I hope you can see that color there. Okay, so let's take a look at the cap. And this way you'll really get to see that mini lace front that I was telling you about. Okay, so here you go. So here's the mini lace front. You see how it hangs off the front there? I'm not really sure the purpose of that. I mean, I, the hair parts there, and maybe you would see a tiny bit of that. To me, it really doesn't do much. This is very soft and velvety up here. You have a velvety ear tab with the metal stays. You have your monofilament top, and this is all hand tied in here again. So you get the natural movement of the fibers. If the wind should blow, you won't see any wefting. There is closed wefting back here. You have, it's not an extended nape. It's just a velvety nape there. And you have these adjusters that are inside a little pocket here. I see them doing that sometimes. And it looks like it's adjusted out. It fit me just fine. It could definitely go tighter. And I would think this would fit up to an average head. She may be a little bit shinier than a heat friendly wig, but you can use dry shampoo or do a cold soak. Okay, and that's no bless. Okay, this is Taboo, and she's going to be more affordable because she has a mono crown rather than a mono top or a mono part. And the good thing about a mono crown is there's less density in the crown area, which is naturally how our hair is. And it has a mini lace front, much like no bless, although I think this mini lace front is a little bit better. It's right here, and it's just for that little part where you have uh, the look of a part there. So it gives the look of a part. So as I said, it'll be less expensive because it has less features and it's also not partially hand tied. This is the color Espresso Tipped, which may be dark for me, but I know we have a lot of women out there asking me to see some brunette wigs and some longer wigs. So here you go. This is longer. And you can see the Espresso Tipped is a dark, dark brown. Oh, and she is heat friendly. This one is heat friendly, just so you know. The front is seven inches. That seems longer than seven inches to me, definitely, since I'm eight and a half from forehead to chin. The crown, 11 inches. The nape, 10 inches. She's a long way. The sides, 11 inches. And she weighs 4.4 ounces. Density-wise, I would say she's still on the lighter side. Yeah, I don't feel much, if any, permatease. Maybe, maybe if there's any, it might be right here. But I'm not even sure that's it. That might just be the nape of the cap there. So Ellen Villa really does do lower-density wigs, which is nice. This is a nice long style with waves. Let me show you the cap. And this one still has the tag attached here. All right, so there you can see the mono crown right there and the mini lace front right here. So this one's done differently than Noblesse. Noblesse had the cap go straight across and then it w the lace front was hanging off the front. That didn't make sense to me. I still don't understand that. Then here we have velvety ear tabs with the metal stays. It's open wefted, as you can see, so it's not hand tied. There's the extended, I know it's so dark, it may be hard to see, but there's an extended nape that's velvety. And the adjusters are Velcro adjust, are they Velcro? Yes, the adjusters are Velcro adjusters and these are adjusted all the way out. And this fit me just fine, so there's plenty of room to go smaller. I would say this definitely fits an average head. This one might even fit slightly larger, but I would say to be safe, it fits average and definitely petite. Okay, so there you go. That is Taboo in Espresso Tipped. Oh, and here you can see the crown here. So you see how it's less dense there. 
where the mono crown is. Okay, this next one is Nerano in middle gray shaded. This is really beautiful and a beautiful color. You can see there for you ladies looking for something salt and pepperish. This is really nice. She is synthetic, not heat friendly. She has a monofilament part. Hopefully you can see that there. And a lace front. Done beautifully with the highlights coming to the front here. The front is eight and a half inches. Seems about right. The crown, ten and a half inches. The nape, three and a half inches. The sides, seven and a half inches. And she weighs just 3.2 ounces, feels very light. I would say low density, although I do feel, I think, a little bit of permatease here. As far as how the cap fits, she fits very comfortably, so we'll look at where the adjusters are. I think this is an adorable little style, very natural looking. Doesn't look like too much at all. All right, let's look at the cap. Oh, and the tag is still attached, as you can see. So here we go. We have a temple to temple lace front, a mono part, and you have a little bit of room here if you want to change the part. This is where the permatease probably is under here. Doesn't feel like a lot at all. Open wefted, your velvety ear tabs with the metal stays. And this is not an extended nape, it's just a regular nape velvety with your Velcro adjusters. And it looks like they might be adjusted in just a tad, but, you know, out to the edges, I would say this definitely would fit a petite to an average head. And let's just look at that color again. Middle gray shaded. Beautiful color. It looks like it has some brunette in it, some browns as well. You can see that there. Really nice. Okay, this is Stella in dark brown mix, and Stella is one of my favorite Ellen Villa wigs. I had it in one of the Bernstein colors. Um, it's a nice little bob with some weight, with a little bit of curl, and she has a lace front. Let me just show you that here. Now this color is dark brown mix, and it's a really, really dark brown. I would say almost black looking at this. And she has a mono part. You can see that there. She is heat friendly, so you can apply heat. And Ellen Villa, in this case and in a lot of cases, recommends that you spritz it with water first. It says in wet condition up to 260 degrees. Really cute, flirty style. Her front is 8 inches. Let's see if we can get the shorter piece there. <laughs> 8 inches. The crown. 10 inches, the nape, 4 inches, and she weighs just 3.3 ounces. I think I do feel some permatease, not a lot. Again, there is wefting because it's a mono part. It's not a hand-tied piece, and this piece does fall in the face a little bit, but you can use heat to style it off the face, so that's not an issue at all. All right, let's take a look at her cap. Tag is still attached, as you can see. Okay, this has an extended lace front, so it's ear tab to ear tab. Mono part here. You can see here a little bit of permatease. They, Ellen Villa, even when they use permatease, they try to keep it to a minimum. So it's not a lot. It's not overdone. You have your velvety ear tabs here with the metal stays, your open wefting and an extended nape. The Velcro adjusters are adjusted in. This fit me fine. Uh, I would say again, petite to average is accurate. And that's true for most of their wigs. I don't really find that there's a huge difference in their wigs, at least the ones I've tried. Um, and this is the dark brown mix. So you can see that color there, very dark. Okay, that's Stella. Okay, you guys may recognize this. This is Sunset. She was my go-to wig for the longest time in light Bernstein rooted. This is in chocolate rooted, so you can look at the color here. She is not heat friendly. She has an extended lace front, which 
which I will show you. And a mono part. Now this piece has the tag still attached and has this front piece here that seems to hang down. It might be a little bit of box hair, so you would have to either steam it if you know how to do that, remembering that this is not a heat-friendly wig, or sometimes you can just warm up your hands and use it. I don't want to mess with the wig because I'm not sure exactly how the person who buys this will want to style it. So I'll leave that up to you. Uh, but there is this piece here I wanted to show you that kind of hangs in the front. The other thing about this piece is, it seems to me this side is longer, a little bit longer, like an asymmetrical look than this side. So I like you to see everything. Uh, as far as density, this is a low density wig. That's why I loved it. And this one, we actually have an open box in a few different colors. So if this is not your color, you can go check out and see which other colors we have. Uh, as far as measurements go, the front is eight and a half, which is the length of my face. The crown is eight and a half. The nape is two inches. The sides are 6.5 inches, and this doesn't have a weight here, but it's very lightweight. This is definitely low density. There may be a little bit of permatease because there is wefting. It is a mono part, and it is not hand tied. And speaking of which, let's take a look at the calf. I can't tell you how many people asked me which wig I was wearing when I was wearing Sunset. It was so popular. Okay, so here you go. You have your extended lace front, ear tab to ear tab, mono part. This is where you have a little bit of permatease, open wefting, your velvety ear tabs with metal stays, your extended nape, definitely petite to average. These are out toward the edges, fit me just fine. Let me just show you the color again, chocolate rooted, so you can see that there. It's a really pretty brunette. All right, that's sunset. Wow, talk about light. This lady weighs 1.8 ounces. I don't even feel her on my head. This is Napoli. Beautiful cap also. She has a, I think it's a double monofilament top. Yeah, double monofilament top, extended lace front. So let me just show you here. This is in the color Bernstein Multi Shaded. Beautiful color. I love how this combines the brunette, the auburn, the blonde. Really pretty color. Uh, nice short style for those of you looking for something short and light. This is throw on and go. We have it in two colors. This color and the chocolate rooted. Chocolate rooted was what I was wearing in the last wig. So that same color. She's not heat friendly. Her front is 2.5 inches, so you could definitely wear this as a bang if you want. Maybe tuck it behind your ears, if you like, with a little bang. Really cute. Um, her crown is 4 inches. The nape, 2.75, so she does go a little longer. If you have hair that goes further, this gives you more coverage. Uh, sides, 2.5 inches. And like I said, she weighs just 1.8 ounces. And you could fluff her up a little bit if you like. Mess with the bangs, wear it messy, wear it tamped down, however you like. Really adorable style. Um, as far as permatease goes, I think there's a little bit in here. Uh, maybe like around back here. Nothing too much. And let's take a look at the cap. She fits very comfortably. She has closed wefting here. So here you have your double monofilament top there. You have the extended lace front ear tab to ear tab. Now she has like a bang, so you don't really see the lace front, but you could, I guess, get those bangs off your face if you like to, because you do have this lace front. It's a narrow one there, but then it goes into your mono top. Here you can see the closed wefting around the back. You have the velvety ear tabs with the metal stays, the extended nape. Here's your adjusters, fits very comfortably. Petite average. And that's the Bernstein Multi-Shaded. Really pretty. Okay, this is Bloom in Light Champagne Rooted, and I apologize if you see any of my dark hair under here. 
Uh, this is a really pretty color, especially for you ladies who are looking for a combination of something cool with some warm tones in it. You can see that there. Bloom is partially hand tied, has an extended lace front. Let me show you that there. Really nicely done. A monofilament top. There we go. Let me just show you there so you can get the illusion of scalp anywhere. Her measurements, the front, 4.5 inches. So the bang would be a little long for me. If I wanted a bang, I'd have to snip that a little bit, but you could definitely do that and put this behind your ears. Really cute style. It's a short style that has some volume. So for you ladies who want a little bit more hair in your short styles, this could be a really nice one. And since she does have the lace front, you can really play with how you would like this front to be. And again, you could change the parting. You know, you'd have to work with that. It is not there in the center there. Look at that. That looks great too. Um, she's not heat friendly, but very easy to play with, as you can see. Uh, so her front, 4.5 inches. The crown, 6.5 inches. The nape, 3.75. The sides, 5 inches. And she weighs just 2 ounces. So these are lightweight wigs, really. Um, no permatease on the top. There may be some around here, but again, not overly done. Feels very light. She has to feel light at two ounces. All right, let's take a look at the cap, and her tag is attached. I don't know if I said that. Okay, here you go. So you have your extended lace front, ear tab to ear tab, your monofilament top. This is hand-tied. All in here. So again, should the wind blow, no wefting will show and the fibers fall more naturally. You have some closed wefting back here. Extended velvety nape. The adjusters look like they're adjusted in a little bit. It's in that little sleeve again. I think they do that on their more luxe caps. They put the uh, adjuster in a little sleeve there. And she has the velvety ear tabs with the metal stays. Really beautiful cat. And this is the color Light Champagne Rooted. So, you know, if you like this color and not this style, you can look for this color in other wigs. Just keeping in mind that Ellen Villa may use the colors a little bit differently based on the style of the wig. But this is really a cute style. Throw on and go also, and you can really play with her just with your fingers. Okay, meet Sasana in ash gray shaded. I believe that's the color. Let me just check here. Ash gray shaded. And we actually have two of these. So here's your ash gray shaded. There's darker rooting. You can see here. And it looks like it gets a little darker in the back here. She's partially hand tied. She has an extended lace front. Hopefully you can see that there. And a mono part. Really cute. Again, another shorter style with some volume around it. So, you know, you could play with this, you know, poof it up a little, put it behind your ears like that, or you could tamp it down more if you like, just depending on how you'd like to wear it. Let's look at her measurements. 4.25 inches in the bang. So, you could definitely wear this as a bang. If you need to snip it, you could snip it a little bit. Uh, the crown, 4.5 inches. I think my mother would look great in this. I got to get her here. We've been planning to do another video, and one thing after another has happened. Unfortunately, right now, she's just getting over some sort of illness, and she has asthma, so it really affects her lungs. But I'm hoping to have her back soon. I know so many people have asked to see her. Anyway, this reminded me of her. I think she would look great in this. Okay, so crown 4.5 inches. The nape 4.25 inches, so it goes longer there. The sides 4.5 inches, and she weighs just 1.8 ounces. Another lightweight wig. Density-wise, I would say the lighter side of medium. You have more stuff happening here. You have some volume, which is really nice. Have some permatease up here. Definitely not a lot, but there is some, and I'm sure it adds to the shape of this. Really cute style. Another throw on and go. Definitely. Let's take a look at her cap. 
Okay, so here you go. You have your extended lace front, ear tab to ear tab, monofilament part. You, it's so interesting. Since it's hand tied here, I bet you you can even part over on this side and it's going to look natural. Um, as a matter of fact, I'm going to put it on and take a look at that and see if we can do that. So you do have the hand tied top here. You have some closed wefting down here, extended velvety nape with your Velcro adjusters, and all of these are fitting me about the same. This fit me very nicely. The velvety ear tabs with the metal stays. Let's take a look at this color. I think I said it was ash gray shaded. Yep, ash gray shaded. Really pretty. And I'm just going to try to put it on again and see what happens if I try to part it somewhere else. So the part is here. Yeah, you know, I think you could because it is hand tied up there. Yeah, so there you go. All right, that is Sasana in ash gray shaded. Okay, meet beach mono. Seems a little weird to be wearing beach mono when it's snowing outside, but uh, in any case, this is in the color pearl blonde rooted, which is a cool color there. You see it is rooted in a darker color. So the overall tone of this is definitely cool, even though it may have some warm tones in it. She has an extended lace front. I'll show you that there. And a mono part. I definitely feel some permatease in here. And, you know, I'm sure it helps give it some volume with these curls and waves. Really cute. Let me give you the measurements. Her front is 6 inches. Her crown, 9 inches. Her nape, 7 inches. Her side, 7 inches. And she weighs 3.7 ounces. So for all of this hair, she is lightweight. I do feel some permatease in here, but she doesn't feel heavy. She's fitting me well, even I would say a little bit snugly. So I'm going to see where the adjusters are. I really like this style with these curl, this amount of curl. I think it's really cute. All right, let's take a look at her cap. She still has the tag attached. If you hear some feet, that's Einstein. Okay, so she has the extended lace front, ear tab to ear tab, mono part that goes back very far. This is where you'll have some permatees. You have your velvety ear tab with the metal stay, open wefting, extended nape, and she is adjusted in a little bit, so that's why she felt a little bit more snug. This probably fits just like all the others, petite average. And this is the color Pearl Blonde Rooted. So you can see that there and see the style. Okay, meet Flare Mono in Silver Mix. And one thing that I noticed with this one, sometimes when you have the cap that's lighter on the inside with a light fiber, it's easier to see the wefting. But in this case, it is not. This is done really well. Uh, so I just wanted to point that out because I get a little bit leery sometimes when I see the light cap with the light color fibers and I'm like, oh, are you going to be able to see the wefting? Uh, not in this case. Flare Mono has a monofilament top so you can change your parting anywhere. An extended lace front. So there you go. Hopefully you can see that. And if you see any dark hair underneath, that's mine. Her measurements are four inches for the bang. So you could easily snip that if you like to wear bangs. You can put it behind your ears. You have more hair here to play with, which is really nice. Her crown is 5.5 inches. Her nape, three inches. Her sides, four inches. Let me just take these down here. <laughs> and she weighs just 2.4 ounces. Feels lightweight. I do feel permatease in here, which I'm sure adds to this shape. And again, you could style it behind your ears, tamp it down a little, or you could really get some volume in here if you want to get your fingers in there and play with the permatease a little bit. Really adorable style. I love this.
Hmm. Uh, you know, I'm learning so much getting to try these wigs that I would never order for myself. So this is really interesting. All right, so this is Flare Mono. Oh, let me show you the cap. The tag is attached. <laughs> okay, so you have your extended lace front, ear tab to ear tab, monofilament uh, top, your open wefting, velvety ear tab with the metal stays, not an extended nape, and this fits me just like all the others, but not an extended nape, you have your Velcro adjusters. And this is in the color Silver Mix. So pay attention to these colors also, even if you're planning on shopping for a new wig or a different wig, hopefully this is giving you an idea of what Ellen Villa colors are like. All right, that's Flare Mono. On to the last wig. Okay, this is a great wig for me to end on. I have always loved Aletta, and if you saw my Find a Perfect Wig with Karen, where I had the customer here and she was trying on wigs. She tried this wig on. Everybody loved it on her. We heard about it in the comments, and she did end up buying this wig in the end. Not the open box version, but she got a new one. In any case, this is in the color Dark Gray Mix, which I think is such a beautiful color here. She's heat friendly, and she does have some bangs that hang a little bit, but with the heat friendly, you could easily style that off of your face if you like. I just love the shape here. So she can come around the face if you like. She can go behind the ears. Really cute. If you wanted to wear bangs, you could snip those. It's like a wispy bang, really. It's not like a heavy bang. Um, she has a monofilament part, so I'll show you that there. And I'm not messing with the part at all. It looks like it may still be a little bit of that crisscross part. An extended lace front. There you go. Nicely done. And her front is 5.5 inches. It looks a little longer than that. Maybe over here it's a little shorter. There we go. 5.5 inches. The crown, 5.5 inches. The nape, 2.5 inches. The sides, 5.25 inches. And she weighs 2.4 ounces. Feels low density. Um, if there's any permatease, it's very little. It's hard to even tell. I love this. You could fluff her up a little bit, get a little bit more shape if you like. Yeah, I really like that. This is kind of like a bob, I guess you would say, because of the front here. But then it's a short back. So it's a really nice style. I think really elegant. All right, let's take a look at the cap. Okay, so here you go. You have your extended lace front, ear tab to ear tab, mono part. You may have some permatease in here. Again, if any, it's not a lot. Velvety ear tab with metal stays, open wefting, extended nape, the Velcro adjusters, and they are adjusted in a bit, and it fit me just fine, so this, again, would fit petite to average. And this dark gray mix, if you're looking for salt and pepper, and it looks like it gets lighter as it goes toward the front, really beautiful wig. And if I didn't mention, her tag is still attached. Okay, so that was a dozen. Ellen Villa wigs in our open box section. If you are interested in any of those wigs, head on over to Franny'sHair.com. I will have a link to each of the wigs in the description below. Remember, there is just one of each of these, except for the one where I said there was two of the ash gray mix. Sasana, I think that was. <laughs> My memory is not so great, but I think that was it. Uh, so yeah, head over to Franny'sHair.com if you want to check any of these out. If you have any questions at all, put them in the comments below. Head on over to Franny's Hair, our private Facebook group. We have so many people over there. I think it's almost 2,000 now. Helping each other out on their wig journeys, supporting each other, answering questions. We have some group experts that jump in and answer questions as well. And of course, we have our resident stylist, V who is over there to answer questions, and you can schedule a free one-on-one -on -one video session with her if you need help finding a wig.
Okay, as always, thank you so much for joining me. I truly appreciate it. Remember to make it your own, and I'll see you soon.